to Mark Williams. It's been four solid days of snooker from Ricky Walden and he hit the ground running, you know, in the first frame of Group 5. He made a 140. Although Williams made a 144 actually against him in the group phase, which took the £500 high break price for the group. But even so, it just illustrated that he was queuing well from the off. These are short matches and he's lost a few here and there, but he seems to have come good with that win over Dot. It was hard fought, really was. Well, I think Walden will be disappointed if he doesn't win the frame from this very inviting opening. He's the world number 23, he's won three ranking titles, he's been in, in the top 16 but has had back trouble the last couple of years and that's affected his form and results. He says he's feeling better now but obviously it's been a bit of a struggle, he just had a little slump as a result of it in the last year. Well this is a great start to this match. We've had uh, 10 centuries in this group. We had 20 actually in group 5. Walden uh, yet to make one. Judd Trump's made four. Michael White two, Lee Hang two. Martin Gould one and the highest, Graham Dot. So far, 136. As I say, it's a £500 prize for the highest break. Fifty-nine. 
66. Seventy four. So two snookers needed, and question is can Ricky Walden make a really big break here? As I say, Graham dots one three six. The high so far. That's under threat here. It's possible one four one on. Eighty two. Eighty-three. Ninety. Ninety-one. Well, that's a shame. No century. No high break, but he's won the frame with a break of 91. <coughs> he's annoyed though. Don't know whether that was a slight kick or or what, but just went wrong out of nowhere really. Still, as I say, the frame's the most important thing, and he's won that. Yeah. Table one is Ben Wollaston and. Lee Hang. Now, Wollaston is going to be relegated, but he can still claim 300 quid from the match if he were to win it. He's won this first frame. Lee Hang started like an express train in this group. He won his first three matches. He then lost 3-2 to Walden this morning. So it's been a long day for Walden already. Lee's got another match to play against Martin Gould. But he's not guaranteed to be in the playoffs yet, Lee Hang. Thank you, Wallace. Trails Wollaston 1 0 on table one. Yeah, w Walden's basically been going four hours solid. Those 2 3 2 wins that he had earlier against Lee Hang and Graham Dot. Straight back on here, but didn't take long to win that first frame. A very swift 91. Michael White. I think when he played the shot he did, le left him bang in. He expected to lose the frame, and that is indeed what happened. Nice pot, nice kiss on the blue. Michael White sits down again. Again, I'm sure, fearing the worst here. Yeah, he's been playing since 11, but the point is he won the two matches. He'd be feeling a bit different, Walden, had he lost those matches, but two deciding frame victories. He's got a bit of a spring in his step. Six. 
سم I think he's played on the pink, but he's not on it. He's on the blue, though. Well, even with the extension on, it's a bit of a stretch, and he's a tall guy, Ricky. Yeah, and he's made a difference. Just that little bit of stretching, and he's missed the pink. Ricky well, 90. Break ends at 19. Could have been a lot more. Well, this is tough. He's got the extension on the cue, got the rest out, and he's got the red. Every credit, and he's on the black. Six. He'll be aware that he's been relegated, and I think that will inject a little freedom into the way he plays. I mean, he plays an attacking game anyway, but it's not like he's bang under pressure here. It's just a question of trying to get another 300 quid out of the day, really. T4. 
57. So Walden missed that pink when he was slightly stretching, had the extension on the cue, and Michael White has his chance to level up in no time at all. Didn't get much of a look in against Judd Trump. He was in a couple of times, but didn't really make much, and Trump was on the rampage. 44. But White had two centuries in his first match of the day, so he has played well. These matches but are so short, though. There's no time really to relax into them. Forty in front, so still needs red and a colour here. Fifty. So far, he's taken these really well. Just needs to seal the deal here in terms of winning the frame. Sixth. Brown will be sufficient to leave Walden needing a snooker, but White will want an extra red as well. He's a very stylish player, very natural player. This young Welshman who's won two ranking titles, including one this season. The Paul Hunter Classic to add to the Indian Open title he won three years ago. And that came just after he won the shootout, which he won in the days before it was a ranking event. This red to make absolutely sure then. Yeah, this has been a, a very dashing break. 65. Very quickly compiled break. Seventy two. Seventy three. And there's enough on for a century. All the colours on their spots. No reason why he shouldn't compile it. Although Walden, of course, fell short on 91 in the first frame. Eight. Eighty-two. Eighty-five. Eighty nine. Ninety four. Well, it's been brilliant stuff from White. It's his third century of the day, even though he's going to be relegated, he has played some good stuff. He just made a slow start yesterday. He doesn't bother with the black, so a hundred exactly from Michael White. And in no time at all he levels up with Ricky Walden at one frame all and it was just that missed pink from Walden when he was in on 19 that cost him. Now then Ben Wollaston won the first frame against Lee Hang on table one. Lee Hang though at the table in frame two. Wollaston was uh, 30 in front but Lee trying to turn that around although uh, he wasn't too happy with that last shot he played because he's going to be going away from the reds in putting the pink. Wollaston will be relegated. Lee Hang is looking to secure his place in the playoffs tonight. Well, 
Well, there you see. Well, actually, he's been lucky there to catch the green. He's had a massive result there, catching the green and snooker in Wollaston on all the reds. 1-0 Wollaston there after that match. Wollaston stays on to play Graham Dot, and then Lee Hang will come over to table two to play Martin Gould, and then we'll have the round-robin phase completed. And the playoffs will be 6 o'clock UK time this evening. Third frame, Michael White. Michael White. So Walden has uh, had a full-blooded attempt, but it's not finished well for him. And Michael White looking to pick up from where he left off in that last frame when he made the 100 break. 100 exactly from the Welshman. Well, that's finished uh, OK. He's on this red by the yellow. <coughs> well, it's now Michael White who's got the spring in his step. Buoyed by that century in the last frame. Remember, he can't stay in the competition. Even if he wins Four. the match, he'll have two points and nine frames won. Graham Dot's already got two points and ten frames won in fifth place.
but he could do Graham Dot a favour because if he beats Walden here then that means that if Graham Dot wins his last match yeah. it'll be a Dot who qualifies in the playoffs and Walden will finish fifth so uh, I'm sure Graham is watching this with great interest Graham Dot in the players room Well, was playing a gentle cannon, but a little bit too gentle, if anything. Now then, does this red cut? It'd be, be thin. It'd be very thin. But it's in. Good recovery. One. The brown puts him 55 in front, another red and a big colour and it's looking like 2-1 to Michael White and despite the fact that he can't stay in the competition he is showing us here just how well he can play. As I say I suppose it's a strange situation in a way the pressure's off because he's out but that's just made him relax a bit and just go for it. And boy, he's gone for it these last two frames. Red stays out, but he's White. done enough. Yeah. Ricky Walden stays in his seat. Michael White with that break of 69 to follow the century. The 100 exactly in frame two leads Ricky Walden 2 1. And it's getting interesting in frame two next door. Just three points in it. Wollaston in front, leading 1 0 against Lee Hang. Two reds left. Looks to have him snookered.
Rob Spencer, the referee, keeping close watch here. And he's played it well. Remember, after that match, Wollaston stays on to play Graham Dot, and then on this table it'll be Lee Hang against Martin Gould. Play of six o'clock UK time this evening. So Mark and White has had breaks of 100 and 69. He leads Ricky Walden here, who had a 91 in the first, 2 1. So Walden in first, and the pattern of the match has been just big break, big break, big break. So let's see if he can maintain that here. Reds again already scattered. Big colours to go at. Definite chance for Walden. Six. Twenty. Well, as I say, from the evidence of what we've seen, you just expect this to be two each now. Michael White sort of smiling to himself as if to say, well, OK, that's the sort of match it is then. One chance stuff. Almost like a bit of a practice session. Eight. I'm just waiting in that seat for 29. the decider, which seems almost certain to come now. And it won't be too long either, because Walden and White not hanging around here. Fifty. 
53. 53. So, Walden already up to the half century. The blue puts him 58 in front. Still seven reds on though, so he's not there yet. 58. <coughs> but equally, yeah. he's not far away. Blue to lead by 64, so it's red and another sizeable colour and Michael White will need snookers. White's had no sort of look in at all in this frame, having dominated the last two. As I say, this black and uh, white needs two snookers. Well, he's taking the pink, obviously looking at the high break, but the main thing is win the frame. Graham dots 136, the highest break so far. He can just beat that here as a possible 138 on. 71. 72. Ben Wollaston's gone 2 0 up against Lee Hang on table one. But this match has been a corker and it's heading for a decider. has been like an exhibition this, just big breaks flying in and great pots. Walden just missed out on a century first frame and broke down on 91. 85. Graham Dot happy because uh, Walden now can't beat his highest break because he's taken some lower value colours from the last couple of reds. Well, again, he's broke down on 91. But uh, the main thing, again, is he's killed the frame off very comfortably. So we're heading for a decider, 2-2. Two, two. <coughs> we've had a barrage of big breaks from these two, and we've got one more frame left. Yeah, it's been blinking, you'll miss it stuff. Walden two breaks at 91, and in between White 100 and 69 as well, to leave us uh, poised for this decider. Big frame for Walden, because of course uh, if he wins it he goes above Graham Dot in the table for now. <coughs> Into fourth place. Fifth and deciding frame. Michael White.
<coughs> yeah, apologies, Walden, of course, is already above Graham Dot. He would go actually into third place above Lee Han. But crucially, on four points. And that means Walden would definitely qualify alongside Judd Trump and Martin Gould. So the last qualifying place would be between Lee Hang and Graham Dot for the playoffs. Dot plays Ben Wollaston, Lee Hang plays Martin Gould in the last set of matches. Well, it's Ricky Walden in first in this decider. In truth, they both look super confident. They've both gone for their shots. They've both got plenty. They've both made high breaks. But, as I say, the important thing is it's Walden in with the first real chance in this frame. Well, it's into the reds. And it looks a pretty good split. 33. I think any time you're on a pot, it's a good split. Sometimes the reds spread far and wide, but the player split in the pack doesn't land on anything. You'd be unlucky not to be on something. Well, Ricky Walden has uh, frame and match at his mercy now. It's up to him to take it out and put himself into the semi-finals tonight. Well, that black only just dropped, but it, it dropped all the same. 41. Forty-two. 
49. Walden's third half century of this match. But he's not there yet. He's missed that one, so 57. We've had no close frames, but maybe this decider could turn out to be one. There's still seven reds on couple of safe balls, a red on a cushion, the green on the cushion, but Michael White knows it could have been over. One. He has a chance to counter-attack here. Well, this is finished. Not great, actually. 15. Not ideal on anything. Oh, well, he's potted a, a great red there. Just lost the white, though. 60. Had no real idea where that cue ball was going to finish. And it's stuck to the top cushion. He'd be brave to take this thin black on. He could chip the green out, which would help. The good thing about White here, you know, he's playing properly, even though he will be eliminated, he's not uh, taking liberties. He's brought the green into play, which will help. Because he needs it. Walden has actually brought the safe red off as well, which is not really to his advantage, although it's now, another red's now gone safe. But he's left this one onto the left middle, so Michael White with another chance. Well, what a great double to bring that to, uh, not only to bring the safe right off the cushion, but to pot it. He's going for it here, and this is a chance now. Definitely a chance to win. Eight. Well, it was until he missed that. White. So it's Eight. 33 in it. Ricky Walden just checking the scores. It's just the pace, really, that kept that out. 
Yeah, red and a, a big colour, and white will need a snooker, and Walden's lining this one up. Ooh, but it's not in. It's not in. So a rather edgy finish. Well, not the best angle to get on the last red from the blue. It's the wrong side of it. Yeah, and uh, his f bad news is he's got on the red, but he's missed the brown, and it's the red is all Walden needs here. So. Michael White's disappointing campaign in Group 6 of the Championship League is surely going to come to an end with defeat here. No. Walden misses the red. Oh no, he's not knocked the pink in. Oh, that's oh. horrible. Well, he needs a snooker now. It's 38 behind with 35 on. That's a pretty rotten way to lose if that is to be the end for the Welshman. Michael White, unlucky. Eases the pressure though on Ricky Walden, who, remember, if he wins the match, qualifies for the semi finals tonight. And in goes the red, and uh, here comes the handshake. So Ricky Walden beats Michael White 3-2. A very exciting match, full of big breaks. Walden, two breaks and 91. Michael White, 169. Walden, a 57 as well. But what it means is that Michael White is relegated. Ricky Walden has qualified for the semi-finals, and we'll see him later on this evening. But, of course, there's still two <coughs> matches to be played. Neither can start until... The Ben Wollaston Lee Hang match has finished on table one, so there's a bit of a wait now. Wollaston plays Graham Dot, and Lee Hang plays Martin Gould. Obviously, neither match can start until that match on table one is finished. But uh, Ricky Walden can relax a bit because uh, 